Good morning guys and welcome to iPunch Smart and iPunch Smart Radio. We are racing from the big T today. Conditions are good to soft and there's been a little bit of rain, 41 millimeters so, uh, in the last seven days, but nothing in the last 24 hours. Uh, so uh, good to soft, probably turning a bit into good as uh, the day goes on. Nine race card starts off at five to twelve, and uh, let's have a look. Uh, does look tricky today. We've had three pick sixes in a row now. Yesterday we got the carry over pick six as well. Um, so long may it continue. Uh, and uh, today will be quite a tough one to catch as well, I believe. But uh, I think we've got a couple of nice outsiders included. So we start off in the first and uh, not really any kind of a betting proposition race for me here. Uh, the the race runners Cool Winter and Eye of the Prophet is my first two choices. And then uh, of the unraced runners, I'd probably go with uh, Seattle Greenlight, just based on this 57% win on the Jockey Trainer combo for Gavin Van Sale and, and Calvin Habib. So watch out for this combination today. They do have quite a good thing going between them, and Gavin Van Sale has almost a 30% win at Turfontaine. So definitely has to be respected with all his runners today and he'll be my third choice then my fourth choice will be without equal and you'll see at the bottom here i made a a, a, a actual uh, note here without equal exceptional debut behind a very good horse when terry was not allowed to win it was peter's race and could have done a lot better given the flying finish so uh Maybe today he'll be trying a bit harder because he's got Keegan Demela on board with some better jockey trainer combinations. So uh, another one to consider here. And then a uh, bit of a roughy, uh, Vartikus, Ashley Fortune and Ryan Munger does pop up here with best exotic ranking, adjusted time and speed rating. And not too bad on the bat figures. And the last one I want to mention is Union Square. Uh, First timer Mike de Kock and Richard Fury. I'm just a bit concerned that Mike de Kock scratched both his horses in the fifth race um, and how that's going to affect his chances today. So that's it 1, 2, 6, 11, 10, and 9 in the first. Moving on to the second. And uh, bipod start here and ratings pops up with quite an interesting. Top rated Rose Velvet, Dory Shaman, and Raymond Danielson. As you can see, it's uh, about six lengths ahead on the bat 42 form. It's based on bat curve, based on the line bat, which is the exact same the, the line bat with the same conditions, the same going, and the, within 150 meters of the 1160. Does also have the best green points adjusted time and speed rating. So, one to consider 12 to 1. Um, and I'm going to go with him as my first choice, um, but I'm going to throw in a very big roughie in the form of first time a silver clock. And JP van Amerwe takes the ride for Fani Broncos, only runner for Fani Broncos for the day. Silvano and a 100% win for this combination. Uh, Fani doesn't do too well at the track, 4% wins only, but uh, yeah, the jockey trainer has a 100% win. So uh, maybe one to consider as well as Silver Clock at that kind of price, 33 to 1. My third choice is the favorite, Ramar, the Cock and the Mielo. And then, uh, yeah, I think only may, um, others to consider here for me as well is uh, the other Fani Broncos with uh, Henny Grelings, a Cerulean really Dancer, that comes up as the best statistical chance. And then the seven national star which I think is better than what he's showed so far. And uh, maybe the little bit further is going to show that. He did get some support on his last run. Calvin Haber retains the ride. And then the last one to mention is Miss Daisy, which is probably Billy Raitis' best chance for the day. 10 to 1, it does have all the bomb rolls here. And it pops up second here on the bat 42 figures, uh, uh, which is still six behind Rose Velvet. But... Uh, Maybe uh, it's only second run, so maybe another one to consider. So uh, 
9, 10, 8, 1, 7, and 6 is my uh, selections there. In the third, and uh, yeah, Castle Town is all the rage, 4 to 10 favorite. Um, the thing that I don't like so much about Castle Town is that Castle Town hasn't won in the soft going yet. And that's a bit of a concern for me. And the other thing that uh, is a bit of a concern for me as well is the 1600 Turfontaine bat figures is a 14.83 year. Uh, his last run was a 1800, was a 9.61, and then he followed up with a 1450 on a 4.15, four lengths better or four and a half lengths better. So either he's getting better, or he actually prefers the 1400 more than the 1600. So um, I'm going to make him my first choice, but it's uh, it's not a good thing at that kind of price for me. Uh, I think an interesting jockey booking is Captain of Brit, because uh, Warren Kennedy gets on board for Candace Dawson, and uh, the interesting part is that Paul Peter also has uh, Western Fort in this race. So uh, there's intentions here for me for Captain of Grid that uh, has showed up some really nice 7 and 7 on the longer bat figure 16 and 1700 meters. So I'm going to put that in as my second choice in Western Fort. I'm going to make my third choice because he does have the best blue bat or exact course 1600 and exact distance Turfontaine. Um, and the bum roll is the best, bum roll curve is the best, and a 12.15 is uh, uh, two lengths better than Castle Town on that, on that one run figure. So uh, I think that's uh, all that you actually need in this race. Uh, one, five, and two. Others to consider, Invincible Warrior and Signals. Uh, but one, five, and two is really the only horses that I can see winning this race. Moving on to the fourth, um, and this is a bit of a nightmare, to be quite honest with you. I think there is a lot of horses that can win here, and it's probably the fourth and the sixth and the seventh is probably the toughest races for the day. So I'm going to come up and start with uh, my first choice, Johnny Yero, at 10 to 1. Comes from a good draw, has the best exact course, exact distance bat CD, has some hidden bat form here on his 1st of Jan 22 run on the bat 84. His last run was a crap run, um, but maybe that was to get a bit of price. So I'm going to give him my first choice. Good draw. Uh, Tyrone Zaki's first for the day with uh, Schwartz. For second, um, I'm going to go here with Donald McDonald. Now, Donald McDonald doesn't look like anything here, but he does get Calvin Habib on board today with his 57% strike rate for Gavin Van Sale, and Gavin Van Sale's 29% win strike rate at Turfontaine. On top of that, he also has the best adjusted time and the best speed rating, and uh, you can see that uh, this horse has one, one, two, three, four. Out of, his law, out of those eight runs. Uh, so he has been nibbled at the last bit. So I think um, he definitely needs to be included in the pick six. Then um, my next choice is going to be Prince Evelynov, uh, 14 to 1. And uh, Donald McDonald is 16 to 1. So um, here we have the best total form, the best intentions, the best form, the best exotic ranking, and the best overall ranking for Prince Evelynov with, with Muzi Yeni on board. Then the favorite reunion at 2-1 to one will be my uh, fourth choice. And then Tierra del Fugo will be my fifth choice at 12-1 to one with the best line bat and the best bomb roll 42 and bomb roll 84. And then uh, Shango will be my next with Lorena at 16 to 1. Uh, Willow Express with Terry and Munger. You can see he's got the best median speed. And he does have some very strong bat 42. Even though it's red, it's four lengths better than the field. So he definitely needs to go into everything as well. And it's interesting that Munger takes the right for Terry here. So Willow Express is another one that I cannot leave out here. Um, but the list doesn't stop there. It's a, it's a really tough tough race this for me. 
I think others to consider is number three, Marching On Together. Number five, Express From The U.S. Number seven, You Can't Hurry Love, Only Runner For Hubbub. And Matsunyani is in really good form. And also number two, Zolzol, which is Terry and the Mielo third run after a race with the best bat curve. So a bit of a minefield for me in this race. I have gone 1, 11, 30, 9, 8, 6, 12, 3, 5, 7, and 2. So, uh, yeah, caution for that one in the pick 6. In the fifth race, and yeah, I think it does get a bit easier. I'm going to say my best choices is Tababui and Flashy Apache, followed by the big roughly 25 to 1 Le Chalves, the only runner for header. Adamson with the adjusted time speed rating and median speed and exotic ranking as the best rated yet. So Tababui, Gavin Von Sale again with his 57% strike rate on Calvin Habib um, will be my first. He's got all the bomb rolls, he's got the bat curve, he's got the best overall ranking. Then I'm going to go with Flashy Apache, uh, does have the best exact course distance bat CD and he's got a nice 70% super rule percentage which is a very nice high one. And then Hedda Adamson and Marco von Rensburg together has a 22% strike rate on wins and a 55 on places. Um, and with exotic ranking adjusted time speed rating and median speed at 25 to 1 I will have to throw in Le Chauves here. And uh, then my next best is with pleasure, another 14 to 1 shot uh, that I will be throwing in. And then just a memory, Sinjin Gray's in great form and he puts on Keegan the Mielo. And Keegan the Mielo pops up here on bat 42 form in red. So another one to consider. And last one I'm going to mention, um, other than the favorite, is P Pewter Sky with the bat 84 hidden form and bat 168. And that's at 20 to 1. And then litigation. So, yeah, six, four, nine, seven, eight, ten, and one. That's how I will be going with this book. But I, uh, I, I even think the rule book has some kind of a, cho a chance here with the intent. So uh, it's not easy today. It's not easy today. Uh, race six. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Uh, Corey Lensley and Dennis Schwartz as my first choice here with the best greenie points, the best adjusted time, the best speed rating, form, stat, form, super rule and total. Eternal Life at 7 to 1, only runner for Curry Lensley. Dennis Schwartz takes the right 25% win and Curry has a 30% strike rate winning on the track. So he's my first choice. After that, um, I'm going to go with uh, Candace Dawson on, on the verge. But now it's uh, Rachel Vinnicker taking the ride. Um, I see Gavin van der Kerk is not coming up uh, to Joburg. And uh, he was going to ride on the Verge and Gallic Princess. And Vinnicker is taking both of those. But Vinnicker is still a really good jockey and does have all the best bats and line bat and bat curve and the overall ranking. So on the Verge is a strong contender for me as well. Third is Woman of Substance, Tyrone Zaki and Craig Zaki, Zaki Zaki, and uh, it is a uh, favorite. It's got the best median speed and the best back curve. And I think those three is probably your main dangers, but I'll throw in a bit of a roughie in the form of Ultra Magnus as my fourth choice. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm at the right race now. Uh, no, sorry, not Ultra Magnus. Green Grow the Lilacs. Only runner for, Den for Dean Kanemeyer and Keegan the Mielo takes the ride. He's not too far off on the on the figures here. And he's still improving only on his eighth run. He's very consistent with his um, lightning bolt here. So uh, Green Grow the Lilacs, nice name, will be my fourth choice. And then the other Lensley runner at 25 to 1, three hills. Interesting that Caden Brewer takes the ride. He's got a 20%. Uh, win percentage for Kuri Lensley and it's his only runner for the day and uh, he pops up very high here on the total form and uh, I do give him some respect to be trying as uh, Caden Brewer's only runner for the day uh, so three hills is a nice uh, little top four prospect for me as well others to consider um, we know what Sinjin Gray does nowadays and uh, 
sorry to say, but uh, it's not good for the game. Um, best exact distance, median speed, and uh, Marco von Rensburg at 33% win chance. So rattle bag at 25 to 1 must also be included in, in here. And then after rattle bag, I've gone with number 6, Trump Mark Queen. Again, Gavin Van Sale with his 57% heat rate. Man on his third run rest and Calvin Habib. And uh, does have some decent bad C's here and some good bomb rolls here. So Trump my queen and the last one I want to, and I want to mention in here is Flame Thrower. Paul Peter Warren Kennedy. Um, they don't have too much to find, but uh, so maybe also one to include in your bigger pick six. 112, 38, 15, 13, 6 and 4. That's how I play that race. The seventh uh, race, I like three runners here really. Um, and S3 is uh, Sweet Future, my first choice, with Azzy, Only Runner, and Richard Fury as the best exotic ranking, greeny points, total points, and some very decent bum rolls, bats here. Second choice, Gallic Princess for the Candace Dawson double um, with On the Verge. That's my second choice. And third choice, uh, Janssen van Vieren and Demielo with Hello, with Gallic, uh, with Hello Winter, Hello. And you can see a hello winter hello has got the best bat curve. So those are my first three, 13, 6, 8. Um, then Ultra Magnus is my fourth choice. Uh, another one, only trainer and only jockey. So only musket, only Dylan. 17% win, 40% place. Doesn't have all that much to find on the bat figures. So another one that must be taken seriously at 8 to 1. Um, so I think those first four is probably uh, for those that want the small pick six, um, the ones to be going with. After that, my next numbers is number five, Celestial Love, uh, with the best bat CD, exact course, exact distance here. Number 12, Under Your Spell with Mr. Calvin Hubbard with Terry this time, third run rested. Number nine, Anna Capri, Chase Majan, and some decent bat figures here. Number 11, Captain Opie, with the best adjusted time speed rating, median speed, and exact distance median speed. Then number 1, Mr. Flood, one of only two for Lucky, but I like Lucky's other one much more. And number 14, Smorgasbord, um, Paul Peter Warren Kennedy. It pops up very high here on the total form, on the T curve, on total, because of intent. Um, so, yeah, for the smaller guys, 13, 6, 8, 2, 5, otherwise 12, 9, 11, 1, and 14 to be added. Moving along to the 8th race. And yeah, it's potentially what I think is probably one of the best runners for me on the card. It's about time um, is my first choice here. My second choice, then Gallic Chief. My third choice, Alula's Star. And my fourth choice, Clever Greeny. 51372. Then uh, Rosara, number six. And Slings and Arrows, number nine. Is just maybe worth a mention, as well as Ultra Quick is maybe worth a mention. But uh, 5137 for me, yeah. Uh, 5, 1, 3, 7, and maybe. Uh, yeah, 5137 for the smaller guys, uh, and then 269, the others to consider for the uh, bigger pick six guys. Our combined pick six return has been about 30 to 1 over the last three days, so uh, it's not always that less is more, it's calculated. So uh, those that has a chance must be included. Moving to the last of the day, and another bit of a tricky affair here. Um, I'm going to go with Lucky and Gavin Lorena. He has my first choice at 6-1, to one, traveling Walbury. Um, but it's it's tricky, I think. Cherangoma is not a bad runner. cherangoma has got some really go good bat figures and bomb roll figures. And uh, he's still a, a very young horse. Pettigrew takes the ride. And uh, Pettigrew and the Gavea. So... Uh, definitely one to consider. My second choice, Under Trois, maybe the best for Fortune and Munger today, as my third choice. 
Then I'll throw in something like stately home, St. John Gray, Warren Kennedy takes the right, best median speed and the best, all the bat figures and bat curve figures, trying the different distance, and that's why this is in red, because he's now going over the further. But uh, clearly he is capable, if you look at his bat figures, uh, him and Jaron Gomez on four, and then Travelling Wilbury on eight lengths, and then Ariane on 12 lengths. So uh, stately home, I will have to include here. Uh, so for me, six, two, one, three, and then my next best, Masaken, uh, number five, and then another roughly at 25 to one Western Dance, Brett Weber's only runner with Jeffrey Seister on board. It does pop up here, best exotic ranking, best in tenth, and best total total curve. And sometimes I don't even know how the algorithms does that. Yesterday we had a 50 to one rate, rated second, and that's why why we won the pick six yesterday. Um, I still don't know exactly how we got that to second rated, but it was second rated nonetheless at 50 to 1 and 1. Um, so, um, 5, 1, 3, 7, 2, 6 and 9. Zazu is maybe the last one I'd like to mention with the best bomb roll curve, the consistency on bomb roll. 5, 1, 3, 7, 2, 6, 9. And then the last race. Uh, th sorry. That was the last race. So I gave you the wrong numbers in race nine here. Sorry. Race nine, six, two, one, five, three, ten, nine. Six, Jaren Goma, two, Travelling Wilbury, uh, one, Under Trois, five, Masaken, three, Stately Home for the upset, ten, Western Dance for the bigger upset, and nine, Zazu for another upset. So that is me for today. Horses that I like for a bit of a nibble maybe is race eight it's about time um gallic chief is maybe a backup there race seven sweet future or gallic princess or hello winter hello or ultra magnus race six eternal life on the verge woman of substance and greek grow the lilacs uh race two silver clock and rose velvet there's some nice prices to it and race five tubber buoy flashy apache and Liz showers for the upset um and that's it for me guys have a great day remember we have like 3000 football matches today um so there is a lot of sport happening and i will be doing some previews on all the major leagues like the english premier league series or la liga bundesliga um mls major league soccer and all that so just to have some uh, previews on, on on the actual tournament for the weekend have a great day